This video provides an overview of Hitachi Virtual Storage Software Block (VSS) block management tools. There are three ways to manage VSS block, which include a REST API, a CLI, and an embedded GUI. When using the embedded GUI, log into the dashboard for a visual view of aspects of the Hitachi Virtual Storage software block. The dashboard shows the health status of the cluster as well as any alerts. Click on any of the top row tabs to access events, monitoring, protection domains, storage nodes, drives, client servers, volumes, pools and ports for either iSCSI or Fiber. REST API commands provide another way to manage VSS block clusters and can be scripted. Note that all the commands generated either from the GUI or the CLI are ultimately REST API calls. Here is the basic form of a REST API call. In this example, a curl command is used to create a new volume using REST API. The password, pool ID and IP address are unique to each VSS block cluster. Now, let's look at how to manage a VSS block cluster using the CLI option. The CLI program must first be installed on the controller node. The CLI program converts the CLI commands entered from either the controller node or the maintenance node to access REST API requests, and then sends them to the cluster main storage node to run operations for the storage cluster, similarly to the GUI. You can use the CLI help command, HSDS help, to find the available command options. This example shows a snippet of the many command options. The CLI HSDS master command option can be used to create different volume server connections. To learn more, visit hitachivantara.com.